Okay, let's suppose that we're trying to build this circuit that has a function generator, a resistor, and a capacitor. Notice that what you'll have to do is, first of all, connect this to an oscilloscope to make sure that the peak voltage is 2.5 volts. In other words, that's 5 volts peak to peak. You have to dial in the frequency of 60 hertz. You have to go find a 2.7 kilo ohm resistor and a 1 microfarad capacitor. So I've already done part of that over here. So you take the function generator cable, BNC cable, and I want to put the red one over here on the resistor side. And I can put the negative terminal over here on the capacitor. Now notice that this is an electrolytic capacitor and the negative side needs to be on this side here that has the vertical stripe on there indicating that that is the negative side. If you want to monitor the output of the function generator to verify that it really is 2.5 volts peak and 60 hertz, then you can just simply take the oscilloscope lead right here and make sure you have negative to negative and positive to positive. Then you dial in your frequency up here to be 60 hertz and your uh, amplitude over here to be uh, 2.5 volts peak. Now this part of the lab over here says to measure with a multimeter the voltage drops across each component. So what you would do there is you would take your positive and negative leads and put them across each component. So across the resistor like this, across the capacitor like that, and across the entire circuit like that to give the voltage in, the voltage drop across the resistor, and the voltage drop across the capacitor. Make sure that your function generator is in AC mode when you do this.